Hi, I'm on top of a mountain in Norway. Don't laugh at me, I'm scared. I'm here to see how Scandinavian electrics compare to British electrics. But first, I just need to ring my boss and make sure that he's all right with it. Cool, oh, sorry, one sec. You all right? Hi mate, you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Cheers mate. Um, I'm just on with filming episode five actually. Big solar job, what's up? Listen, I'm in Norway and obviously I was hoping on making an electrical video, but here's the thing. There is so much cool stuff out here that I just want to make a video of. But stick to the plan, Corey. Is that at all related to electrical work? No, it's got nothing to do with electrics, but there will be some electrics in there, especially at the end. Well, look, mate, you work for yourself now, so do what you want. Um, how about we make a filthy educational B-roll with some nice voiceover? Fantastic. All right. Thank you very much. Perfect. Oh, and Corey, watch out for those polar bears. He hung up on me. We have a go ahead. Cue the B-roll. Norway is a country traditionally known for its beautiful fjords and fjords, stunning scenery and mind-blowing nature. When in 1967 oil was discovered on the Norwegian shelf, it's fair to say few people hardly would have realised what a huge impact this industry would have had on the nation's economy and wealth. Fast forward to today, however, oil isn't so popular. The thing is, it turns out sucking dead dinosaurs out of the ground and burning them doesn't make friends with Mother Nature. How dare you? You have stolen my dreams and my childhood. Sorry, Greta. Norway has taken this in their stride though and have become a heavy producer of renewable energy, predominantly because of hydropower. Over 99% of the electricity production in mainland Norway is from hydropower plants. This country really has taken its environmental pledge seriously. So if Norway is so far ahead of us on the renewable energy front, then I want to try and learn all I can off of them. So that's why I'm here today in this extremely windy side of Stavanger to work with Adrian. So I'm gonna be spending the day with a Norwegian electrician. Let's crack on with it. All right, so here's the plan. So we're going to be fitting a zappy just here, my energy zappy. Oh no, not another car charger video. You said you'd changed. Um, bit of a twist. So we're gonna be coming through this garage here and uh, across and outside. How nice is that look? The beach right there. Pew, amazing. Adrian is just here lifting this up because basically everything in Norway is run inside conduits. So this socket here, this three-phase socket isn't being used and that runs underneath and back to the board. You're seriously gonna have to bear with me on this guys. Videography 101 is uh, don't complain about videography. But guess what? I am complaining about videography. I'm still figuring it out. Like, watch, watch me. I'm gonna move my microphone on take and I'm gonna look at the monitor rather than the camera. What are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna get sacked. Do you like my new shirts? Shout out Draft Workwear, discount code below. This is my new merch. While Adrian is outside lifting that up, I thought I'd take the opportunity to check out their distribution board. And their uh, first impressions are lovely for a start. It's inside an actual workable space and workable height. And apparently that's standard here. Apparently it's not acceptable here to shove your consumer units underneath the thing. So that's lesson one. Ping, lesson one. Put your consumer units and distribution boards somewhere sensible. Lesson we can learn from Norway. Got all this lovely documentation explaining everything, all the history of it. Oh, how nice is that? some kind of network set up there going on with the thing. You've got your main switch, it's three phase. I'll take this off. Oh, interesting. You can see they all enter the board in the back there inside tube. Here's the thing, right, that I find really, really, truly, truly awesome. When I actually started looking at the job, I was thinking, how on earth am I gonna get out of here? This distribution board is right in the middle of the house. And you've got wooden walls, these weird style ceiling that they have and then the wooden floors so i was thinking how on earth am i going to come out of this space to get outside however the norwegians are clever what they have is conduits running everywhere so if you want to rewire a house here you don't have to rip apart the walls start 
chopping floors up, chopping out stuff, pulling down ceilings, you can just pull a cable through a conduit, which I think is just brilliant. I'm not sure it's always possible to pull it through. No? I can't see the, the, the conduit. Way, yeah. Okay, well it turns out I'm wrong. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, already down to the bottom, aren't yeah, we, really? So, it's, I don't think it's so we'll just use that cable then. We can actually put a 4 mil, a 32 amp breaker on a 4 mil in England, anyway. interestingly enough, yeah. This right here is a uh, three-phase commando socket, we call it, and then, uh, or prefaza, as you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, that's going down underground basically the problem is it will be in a pipe but the pipe is so deep down so i guess not every system is perfect everything has its drawbacks after all it's so deep down in the ground that it's going to be really hard to actually pull a new cable out of so what i think we're going to do is put a junction box somewhere here and then run a new cable from that out so let's show you an electrician in norway's van the first thing i notice right is uh you have glass on the back is van theft not a thing out here? Tool theft? We have insurance. <laughs> oh. So I have, I have some colleagues that has gone broken into, but yeah. just got the new one on the insurance. So no problem. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Honestly, I've had my van broken into three times. Really? Three times, yeah. It's an epidemic in the UK and no one seems to really care about it. Do you have insurance too? Yeah, I have insurance. Yeah. The first two times I had insurance, the third time I didn't because they said I'd already had it broken into too many times. <laughs> um, so it's pretty horrific. But to have a glass back, people were criticizing my last video saying, oh, there's not enough security in your van, which is true. For, for England, there's not. So I'm going to be adding more. Um, but to have a glass back, in England, that is brave, especially clear where I, you can't really see this on the camera, but I can see through and see all of his tools. Ah, oh, cool. So, it's like a ply lined, similar racking system with the raised floor, the IKEA bag, of course. <laughs> yeah, like, just oh, wow. stuff in here, isn't it? All the breakers at the back there, and singles cable, a kind of twin and earth looking cable there fish tape which I imagine you probably use your fish tape a lot oh yeah I love that like this I don't even know what it is that looks like something for a sink <laughs> no that's for the pipe that comes into the what's the name again distribution <laughs> board Distribu yeah distribution board so we screw this in the inside of the distribution board and you take the pipe inside, pipe inside ah we call that pull the wire through. a female coupler whatever you call it yeah <laughs> What on say I ponoshk? This one? Yeah. Scarp Morpha. Scarp Morpha. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Sick. Dude, don't use it, really. Uh, yeah. We have similar, but it doesn't look like that. That looks like a, something to stop hair going down your sink. All right then, I'll go turn the power off and uh, we'll get cracking. One slight problem with turning the power off. I speak some Norwegian, but not much. I think it is saying that that one, four, th four pole, 32 amp, Utvendig. So I switched that off. I don't know if they have any safe isolation procedure or whatever, or whether or not cutting that cable is going to trip this, but that's all going to be part of the fun. Interesting to see. Right, let's go outside and see if Adrian's still alive and well. Do you contention your muscles if you like? I don't think we have many of the uh, Yentas watching this, <laughs> but, but just in case there is. So this is the cable we're using. It, it's called, they call it Powerflex. And it feels kind of like a tough rubber sheath H07, but a bit more stiff. Can't really explain it. And they use this one because you're allowed to use it outside without any need for a conduit, which they usually have to use everywhere. They're saying as well, which I thought was quite funny. They really don't like um, working with concrete. They're saying all the houses they usually work on are wood. So when they come up against concrete, it's like, ah, I hate it. I don't like it. I'm going to try and get through the wood, which is, uh, yeah, I don't know. I find that quite funny because we're so used to it. Because everything in England is concrete and bricks. Ah, oh, this is such a challenge. I cannot see a thing. It's so bright, it's so windy. So they have to use this capping when they run cables outside. I think up to 0.5 meters, they have to use it. And it just protects the cable. And I think it makes it look really, really nice. However, 
Adrian just said to me, and he doesn't mind me saying it on camera, he's just coming around the corner now, I think, with some silicon. Um, he said, I really hate working with concrete, I'm not used to it, I prefer working with wood. And uh, he's blown the uh, concrete, which I've never done. I'm joking, I do that a lot and it's super annoying. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to demonstrate the prison cheesecake, which you've probably seen on my Instagram. So it's nicer to use concrete if I could, but I'll use this. Yeah, I'd give it more than what it needs. And then just really kind of overfill it. And then what I do is I get some of this dust break it up a little bit or even some of this dust down here I just ah. I just mash this up a little bit and then I just start to chuck that on there that's it yeah I need to make it more powder but what yeah. I would usually do my drill um, it collects the dust inside a little yeah, pocket yeah, 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 yeah. and then I take the vacuum yeah, off and I just yeah. <laughs> Ah. and it's the same colour as well. That's the basic gist of it. Yeah. I'll just get loads of dust and then just <laughs> pop it up against it yeah, and then yeah. it just blends right into the wall. Yeah, that's genius. I never thought about it. So have you ever seen one of these before? Nope. Zappy. Zappy. Yeah. Nice. Pretty popular in England. Wow! Look at this! It's huge! It's huge! <laughs> that was like... It comes with the cable attached to it. Oh, okay. So it's tethered. Yeah. This is the template for the wall. So you can... Ah, and then there's huge. your hole that you drill. Yeah. For the, uh, for the charger. I like a lot of the Norwegian brands. Um, but the reason why I tend to go with this one for when I'm doing domestic especially is because if you have, say, solar panels, mm. or if you have um, battery storage, or um, even a big immersion heater, like a water heater and stuff, yeah. you can have a My Energy home. So you can have an interface where basically you could say, okay, when the sun is shining, charge my car. And then when my car is charged, charge my battery. And when yeah. my battery's full, heat my water. And if my water's hot, then do the underfloor heating. So yeah. you can- Smart system, yeah. Smart just distribute out the thing and you can charge your car just off of solar so it will have like a CT clamp okay, and when cool. it notices oh you've got solar that you're sending back to the grid rather than send it back to the grid because you don't get much money when it goes back to yeah. the grid instead you'll say well charge my car and it will charge your car so it's pretty oh, cool genius. this is like an old electric fence supply here it's still on so this would have been powered off of this socket just here which is powered off of the socket just inside there. So we're gonna find where that comes from, remove this, remove this box. Once this is removed, we'll put the charger just here. <laughs> Let me show you this. And he has some things that have changed no matter where you are in the world. So he's got his volt stick in there and he's just gone to check where the uh, power is coming from. He goes, oh, I'm not sure where it comes from. I should, uh, I should go check the house drawings because that'll have it in there like man. Houses have house drawings out here. That is pretty sweet. Imagine if we had that back home, that'd be pretty, that's something we can learn from. I mean, the vault sticks off. I don't know what yeah. your safe okay. isolation procedure is out here. We use our fingers. Use our fingers, yeah. nice. <laughs> <laughs> what brand are you using, Weera? Uh, this is no. Swiss Tools, I believe. I use, ah, Cool. Uh, I, I switch every time. One, one breaks and I just buy a new one, I don't care yeah. which brand. I, used, I had one of those before, but I... Klein. Not exactly that one, but similar. Yeah, I think it was from Weha. Weha. Weha, yeah. yeah. I'll probably just pull up now. Oh, uh. oh the spiders. <laughs> one sec. Oh, 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 there it is. Yes, that's Norwegian pest control. Do you have any good football teams out here in Norway? Oh. No. Not big. Uh, well, if they're lucky, they get to the Europa League, but no one champion, no Champions League teams. No. So. So you like English football then? Yeah, I only watch English football. And I don't watch Norwegian football. And who's your team? Liverpool. Liverpool. Oh. I wonder if that's going to cause some controversy <laughs> in the comments. <laughs> 
And when I say I've had all your Norwegian food, I've had all your young Norwegian food, you know, like your local McDonald's. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Burger King. Yeah. yeah, I've had your Norwegian Burger King. I've had some Thai food here. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, pizza. Pizza. Very, yeah, Norwe well, it was a Norwegian person cooking it, I think. <laughs> I've actually got you lunch. Have you brought lunch with you? Uh, yeah. Oh, you have? Oh, never mind. Oh, what did you bring? Probably some like... Oh, I thought you'd have like a deer or something in your <laughs> man. You're just gonna cut an ear off. I thought you'd just cut an ear off of a sheep or something and can eat yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were Vikings. The season hasn't started yet, so probably next month. Yeah. Next month, yeah. I was chatting to someone the other day, the carpenter, who's a uh, hunter, and he was the most alpha male male I've ever met. Yeah. Like, I felt so pathetic. <laughs> he was like, Yes, you know, uh, he was like, you could come with me on a hunt, Mr. Will, and uh, he's like, but uh, if I kill it, I have the heart. <laughs> he was like, there's no, no better feeling than when you kill something. So I probably shouldn't do a Norwegian accent impression in front of you, should yeah, I? Yeah, yeah, that's um, right. like, <laughs> yeah, if I kill it, then I want to take the heart because I like to eat the heart. And I was like, cool. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean. I have no in Grunsaka, also. Maybe if I one day shoot a reindeer or a polar bear. Polar bear, yeah. If you shoot a polar bear without a license, you can go to jail. It, well, not if it's attacking you. No, you have to. If I get myself even, over even to Svalbard. Yeah, even if it's attacking you, if you shoot it, you have to go in court and like, say what happened and uh, you need to get. So, like, a polar bear's charging me in Svalbard. <laughs> And no, I have to quickly check my man. ticket, check my tags. Ah, sorry, just. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what do you think of my design for my T-shirt? Oh, it's so cool. Yeah. Do you like it? I would like one. Yeah. I can get you. I've yeah. got. I've got you one inside. You can have it. But these are actually gonna be merchandise. So if you want to, <laughs> if you want to buy these, then uh, comment below because I'm gonna be starting to sell them. But this one is a limited run. So this is the Norway special. Ooh. So this is just for the Norway episode. Okay. Um, but so you can collect. Exactly. All the, yeah. All the different episodes, the, the special edition episodes will have a special edition t-shirt. And then I've just got the general one, which I'll show you that's inside. Uh -huh. The designer was actually the My Energy designer. Really kindly, Geordie Brompton, really kindly lent me her designer. So Lucky. a massive thank you to Ben from My Energy for helping me design this. Right, so quick catch up where we're at. So the cable is now being clipped along there, do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do, down there with the... Uh, metal cap and stuff, which I'm a big fan of actually. I think that looks really nice. And now we've just got the outside stuff to do. What size fuse would you reckon you usually have? Outside? Yeah. I don't know. We don't have uh, access to it. Ah, oh, really? Uh, we have the people that supply the power. They have so say zero people to, to do the job. So say you were doing like a board change or something. They, how, have to how? they had to come out. Uh, 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 well, we had to call someone called Lisa people that supplied the power and they had to oh, come, to come to down, turn it off and we had to do our job and we called them again and they would come and turn it off again, on again. We do the same. Oh really? Oh, <laughs> okay, so you did it yourself. We're not allowed maybe or? Uh, yeah, we're supposed to do it ourselves and obviously I've never pulled a main fuse in my life. I've done it sometimes. I'm joking, I pull it all the oh, time. Yeah, okay. yeah <laughs> I, I, it's just, it's, you're not supposed to but yeah. you have to sometimes and if you call them they're like, oh yeah, we'll come out sometime next week. Yeah, one o'clock in the afternoon yeah, yeah. and it's like no nah. so yeah you just pull them do your work put them back in so yeah. we're meant to do the same so there's not a lot of space i mean there's a space <laughs> there i think yeah but, two, we get, but two I, spaces I thought, here. like we don't need this one anymore no yeah no so we can just take that out and for the surge protector does that just clip in yeah there? so with that, then we just plug in the top of the main fuse cool so england is not in europe is it no, we physically moved continent. Yeah, I had to get loads of boats and uh, hook into Dover and <laughs> drag us away. It was expensive, but it saved totally us loads of money and it's made such a difference. So, yeah, I'm really grateful for it. <laughs> well, with I've actually just bought a little Unilight. I don't know. Do you have Unilight out here? Unilight. What is this? Uh, what do you know? Is it like a brand? It's like a tall light shop, but it's quality really yeah. good quality but i've just bought a travel suitcase from them oh, i actually okay. have a discount code of unilite that wasn't planned or sponsored <laughs> but i do have one it's oyelek use it 25 percent ah. off but yeah as well yeah oh yeah okay. yeah 25 percent off it's good stuff really good stuff So 
one thing I've just noticed what you're doing mm -hmm. that is extremely extremely similar to what I do and that is Crocs. yes my brother <laughs> that's what I'm talking about even the red socks and the, all you're missing is some little pins you need some little uh, pins yeah, in there my other my party crocs has a lot of pins your party crocs but yeah. they, they have a sport mode in them right of course yeah of course yeah oh that's like when you've got to get the job done oh like climbing a ladder or yeah, whatever I yeah. think we're gonna be friends. <laughs> Do you think I could get a job in Norway? Yeah, I believe. It. Yeah, yeah. Do you think your company would hire me? Yeah, we actually need people, so. Cool. I mean, I don't actually want a job here right now, <laughs> but cool to know. For anyone wondering what voltage and stuff we use here so it's 230 volts a phase and 400 volts three phase um and every house generally has three phase come into it and what you say is about 63 amp usually fuses uh or 50 amp yeah fuse usually. this one is 63 yeah yeah so normally not bigger no you were quite shocked weren't you when i said we have 100 amp yeah, single that's, phase that's new to me yeah that's a lot of power yeah and mm -hmm. if you have three phase generally as well usually it's 100 amp older houses will be 63 amps Usually one phase or three one phase, phase. single phase single phase yeah and then you call them and usually they'll upgrade it for you especially if you have a car charger or something yeah. like that. you have been charged 399 pounds on your card i love these your a47 will be what dispatched is? within the next 24 hours ah, you talked about that last time if you have not made any such purchases or transactions then <laughs> i can't believe it want to speak to amazon customer service i want to speak to amazon customer Thank service you. yeah of course it could be real i don't know what i've bought He hello? Hello. Yeah, can I help? Hi, thank you for getting connected with the Amazon. How can I help you today? Did you place any order from the Amazon? Yeah, I use the Amazon all the time. I buy everything. I bought some toys for my grandchildren on the Amazon and um, I buy food on the Amazon and I buy my shampoo on the Amazon I buy every I buy everything on Amazon why what's wrong <laughs> ah, that's so annoying why sometimes I can keep them going for ages I can really keep them going and I love that so I think every minute that I'm wasting their time they're not ripping off some old lady yeah of I mean. course so it's great. I one yeah, thanks. Nice Hopefully they call back. <laughs> Sorry if you're watching this, the Amazon. <laughs> Do you know what would be really sad? Is if Jeff Bezos texts me in a minute and I actually have been scammed on Amazon uh, and no. I just wasted their time. <laughs> I was like, that would be a plot twist. <laughs> if I actually have been scammed on Amazon. That sucks. I did enjoy it. It feels very good, <laughs> yeah? actually, yeah. You like it? I enjoy it very much. You can keep Do you have one. a discount code or something for this? No, I don't actually. And... I, they should give you yeah no yeah. i actually don't have anything for that but i'll tell you what i can that's just my tool that i have for work but if you buy me a beer later you can keep that how does oh. that sound good deal well uh, the norwegian beer is quite expensive though that's not a good deal <laughs> norwegian beer is about 50 pound a pint so actually i just got an absolute bargain there We've got the actual work done now, so now it's time to test. So this is interesting, because uh, even what device you're using here, let's have a look what you got there. Is that your insulation resistance tester, or you call it isolation tester? We call it Meg Meg Mega. Mega, <laughs> yeah, we call yeah. it Mega as well. Oh, really, yeah. Yeah, funny. Yeah. So you're just testing against your earth. Yeah. And, and each phase. Cool. Everything's just over limit, so that's... Lovely. That's that's your, that's that test. 
and, and then, then your continuity test and yeah. it's just the same as in England as well yeah and is that all the testing you really have to do do you have to test the main income in or anything like that like the I don't believe so no <laughs> I, I don't do so wow that's so handy so you don't have to do ZE ZS no what, what, um, what does that mean? PFC no like um, the measurement for the impedance of that going out you don't have to fill that out the main switch yeah I don't know Wow. Well, all we have to do is we well, only have to do uh, is to check the thing we have done, not the yeah the t- old stuff that has been there for from before. So that's brilliant. I like that. We'll get that wrapped up, and then uh, we're going to go to the pub where we can have some conversations and ask all the questions that you've asked in the comments. So let me introduce him properly. So basically, this guy is the electrician of Stavanger. That's what you said to me, right? You said you were the best yeah. electrician. The best. I want a high price. Yeah. Oh no, you didn't say Stavanger. You, I think you said the whole of Norway. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, I, but I, I had to take him uh, check the, this year, but uh, last year I got the prize for the best Norwegian. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I had prize for the, the best electrician in the whole of UK, actually. Oh really? That was 23 and left-handed and uh, slightly overweight and eight Pringles, yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit of a niche award, so but I won it. It's a very, very low standard. And, and <laughs> yeah, and yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. So Adrian is a fully qualified electrician in uh, Norway, so it works slightly different, which is why I thought it'd be cool to talk about. Because obviously in the UK, basically, well, the qualification system is just such a mess, to be honest. But what I like is, in Norway, basically, if you have your license, you have your license. If you're qualified, that's it. Yeah. Um, it's not that straightforward in England. No, I heard you say something. But I think I've got my card with me, actually, when yeah. I was talking shit about it earlier. We have this. Good selfie, no? Mm. Oh. That's a lovely bit. March 2020, oh. So you've only been, uh, like, in full year. But this is my late, so you have to update this card every three years. So this card is just my most recent card. Yeah. So that's like, so you're a basic electrician or how so I've done school? Or? I've done school since this and qualifications since this, but you have to pay £40 every time I want a new card and no one ever check it, no. check it or need ah. it. So I'm like, I don't want to pay £40 just for extra lines on the back. So no, no, no. I left it. But this is technically, this means you're fully qualified. So this is the gold card. So you get this when you complete a NBQ or an apprenticeship in England. Um, but the amount of electricians that actually have one is next to nothing. And really? just because you have one, it does not mean you're good. Um, okay. So it's it's really a complicated system. Tr- traditionally, the proper way of doing it is apprenticeship, which can last anywhere between two and five years, depending on what sort of level you're at or you go to college get all your technical certificates and then go and get a trade craft to like get your actual apprenticeship tickets then that takes like five years or so um overall usually on average you can do it a lot quicker um and then you're considered fully qualified however there are so many short courses that have popped up what's short course like i feel like i just want to take that sound bite what's a short course thank you i agree what is a short course a short course is a course where people sell online saying oh you can pay this much money and you can be an electrician in two weeks what yeah is it it allowed to work as an electrician after yeah technically in theory because no one can be an electrician because no one enforces it so like people go and put time into getting fully qualified but no one checks so if i had another company and I was just a window cleaner and I decided, you know what? I'll do some electrics. I'll yeah. do some electrics on the yeah. side as well. And you literally see it. You see like, we offer building, roofing, this, that, the other, yeah. also electrics. Um, and it shouldn't be that way. But the trouble is we don't have a national standard. We don't have national licensing. I hate videography. No, I don't actually, I love it. I'm just not good at it yet, but please bear with me. I promise I'm gonna get better. I didn't format that card and halfway through the video, I just realized the camera's gone off and the file was corrupted. So I've got half of it, but I've lost the second half. So um, what we're going to have to do instead is carry on as if we didn't just talk about it for another 10 minutes after the camera cut off. But I was just halfway through telling him about the NIC and the different scams, sorry, schemes that we have in the UK. Um, so basically, rather than it being a national governing body, where we say you are qualified or you aren't, it's a company 
like an actual business yeah. that is not owned by the government, that is owned by private individuals, that will say, yeah, if you pay me a thousand pound a month, we'll set the standards and we'll decide if you're qualified or not. You don't have to have the qualification, you just like, if you have it. If you have it, it helps, yeah. and they have certain hoops you have to jump through, but there's lots of loopholes, Lo so many loopholes. It's crazy. It's quite different from here. Yeah. Everyone has to do it through the government and have get the right certification and same certification now. You should, and to do it properly, like you said, it's really strict with some things. Like with, to do it properly, it's really strict. It's really like professionalism and um, over the top with regs and you know like with the fire clipping and the yeah. the pen fault devices and that kind of stuff. And then when it comes to actually enforcing it. It's a wet dressing gown sleeve, mate. There is yeah. nothing to enforce it. Like, the amount of times I've found really bad work done by registered contractors. I've called up the registration body and I've yeah, said- Have you seen the paper of the- Yeah, yeah, behind, yeah, they've uh, left my name yeah. behind or the customer said, oh, it's this person, I've still got the number. I've called up the registration body and I've said, I've just found this work and I'm expecting them to be like, oh yeah, we're gonna be on it. And they're always, yeah, yeah, we're gonna be on it. Nothing happens. That contractor is still trading. They're still doing things. There's no, there's no comeback for them. We see a lot of bad work in as well. Yeah, it's like ninety-nine percent of the time it's like it's the father in the house that ah I can do it and he's doing it himself. And yeah, it starts to burn or the fuse go uh, goes off and, yeah. and we have to come and fix it. So, but it's never in another company that don't have the qualification that have been to to. I wish that was the case, that'd be great. If it was just DIY, that was bad, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Um, I think it's the same with plumbers, they, they also need to have like a certification. Yeah. But I think you can be a carpenter without, you can build your own house without any papers. Yeah. But you can like do your own electrics. I think what we have to do is we have to get Adrian, or Adrian, sorry. We're going to get him over to the UK, we're going to get him doing a job over there. I think he needs to come help me on some jobs just to see how it's done. Yeah, it would be interesting, yeah. I think it's very interesting. Yeah, so they have, in the box. they have like a flexible conduit, a Copex, which comes with three wires already pre-installed inside of it, which is just genius. I think that is so good. Um, but we don't actually have that in the UK. You could, if you wanted to, you could run conduit and then pull cables through it. Yeah, it would that's take the old a, fashioned way. It would take a long so time and yeah, customers aren't gonna wanna pay for it. And also you've got to do a deeper chase and yeah. it just doesn't happen. So that's one thing you're not gonna like. But I'm really, uh, the next three wire I do, I'm gonna try and do in, in conduit. But how do you do it? Do you, how do you get the products if you don't sell it? Then? I can buy Copex, but I would have to wire it myself. Okay. And I would have to, yeah, it, it's doable. So I'm gonna try, just yeah. because why not? I think even though I probably make absolutely no money from it because I'm competing against people that are just gonna throw it in the wall and do it quickly. I, mean, I feel like you're making money back. Say if you're making a house with all this wire, everything is good, and the uh, helper is gonna set the doors in, and they screw, screw the doors in, and you hit your wire or something. Uh, yeah. We just plug, get, like connect, disconnect the wire, uh, the sockets, and pull new wires through. Job done. While you had to pick up the wall and yeah, make and a he, hole uh, and he damage. Has to make it good again. And yeah, paint to have to paint again. I couldn't agree with you more, no. and uh, I'm definitely going to start doing that. If you want to hire me for a rewire, where we put conduit inside your wall, instead of just cable, <laughs> website's below, give me a call, and I'll come and rewire your house here. But the trouble is, that's going to take me so much longer. Yeah, We're especially compete. if you don't have a, like, we don't have already installed. Stuff, uh, no. uh, and, and I'm competing against people who will just basically throw it in the wall, yeah, uh, but... Okay. You need anyway. to find a rich, rich customer, yeah. I do. If you've got more money than you know what to do with, give me a call and I'll come help you spend it. <laughs> Good deal. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for your help. Yeah, no problem. Really appreciate it and yeah. it's been awesome working with you and learning all the different ways and that you do it here in Norway. So, yeah, you too. Yeah. Um, until we, next time, until I see you over in England or until I come and work for your company. Uh, <laughs> see you later. Yeah. Right, let's pretend this isn't take number 17 and a half. Amazing boats out here. Do you know what's incredible about the boats out here in Norway? They'll have barcodes on them. They have barcodes because then it's possible to Scandinavian. Now, Norway has been an incredible country. I've absolutely loved every minute of this month here. Um, there is a ton of dead jellyfish in here, which makes it a little bit harder. 
but thank you to the people that have made it possible, Tradeify and My Energy. My Energy, total legends, great products, easy to work with, and uh, they sent the product out here and paid towards Adrian's wages, which made it possible for me to basically do that whole video because apparently companies don't appreciate it if you go and work with them and then also film while you're getting paid. So thank you very much to My Energy and thank you to Tradeify because Honestly, it's just made my whole self-employment process so much easier, which I'm going to be doing an update on soon. I've got lots of little things to update you on. Everything from, I've found an accountant, I've gone limited, I'm in the process of going back registered and NIC registered, yada, yada, yada. We'll do a catch up video on that next time when I'm not back in England just yet. See if you can guess where I'm going to next, comment below. If I was to leave you on one wise sage piece of advice that I've learned from Norway, it probably wouldn't be the conduit or the uh, fantastic qualification standards or the uh, tremendous governing body that they have on qualifications across the country. I think if I'm being honest, the one lesson that I've learned is um, watch your back. Polar bears, man. They're serious. They, they will rip your face off and they're still protected by the government. And you, you won't see them either. Do you know why you don't see polar bears hiding in trees? It's because they're really, really good at it. Like and subscribe, please.